Okay, welcome to another episode of Barbie and Skipper Handmade Flower Power Dresses. In this video, I'll be showing you the dresses made from one fabric. And in this fabric, it changes dramatically from large flowers to smaller flowers. And I'll be moving her hair to show you an example. This dress is listed uh, only at my coffee shop and it's a recent listing and as you can see over here it is a bubblegum pink with pink and a little bit of a fuchsia uh, towards a purple and I have chosen this straight design dress and uh, she's on a TNT body so she's kind of at an angle and you, you kind of see on the right where I have another dress coming up next but for Barbie she has a high neck and tiny little sleeves and the beauty about this vintage fabric is that it has very bright beautiful colors it's from the 1960s and I have chosen this material because of the tiny flower power as you see over here design so this is Barbie and I'm going to be moving her over to the side so that we can be making room for another one. So bye bye Barbie and on to the next design. Here is Fluff Doll and she has the same design fabric but as I mentioned and I'm over here to the right as I mentioned it has changing flowers. So over here it's changing a little bit to um the yellow and the red in betweens and she has a very fun design where she has a little bathing suit type and little shorts and it's decorated with tiny little trim on the bottom hem of the shorts and on the bottom hem of the top and in the back we have a little bathing suit look as you see here and full elastic and I do believe that I put the shorts on backwards because we have more flowers here than here and we have the the seam of the back. But either way, let's take another look. Either way, we can see how cute the design is. So yes, definitely this is the front. And what I do is after I make them, after I do their photo shoots and I list them, I take their clothes and put them in uh, Ziploc bags to keep them away from the elements. And right now I have redressed them not so good as you can see here but I do redress them so that they're back to the doll that I have them listed so to keep the eyes familiar with the with the doll and the dress and coming up next and I'll keep her here to the side I'm moving her here because I have two more to show I have Skipper and she has a maxi design dress she has the cutest design and what I do is I place the fabric to the material. I mean I place the fabric to the pattern and I have selected this front design for Skipper. And if you can see over here she has the tiniest little flowers. Tiny, tiny, even so small scale for, for her, our little 9 inch Skipper. Even in her scale, these are beautiful. So this is a specialty uh, placed uh, for this look. And she has a beautiful little organdy black sash. And it's attached to the dress. And very fine, close little uh, hemming on the armholes and on the neck. So this is our other design. And if we wanted to compare it, the fabric goes from pink to pink yellow and this fun little design onto the next one. And this other design here with Skipper, we have more of the yellow look. So this is the direct result of the fabric of how it's turning from one to the other and I had to take this material because after these tiny, tiny little flowers, 
the design goes to an extra super large, I would say a, a good 9 to 11 inch flower in diameter. So it goes and it blows up to large, typical Hawaiian flowers. If you see the Moomoo's or the vintage Hawaiian Maxis, you can see these, uh, this fabric from, a, um, if you're out in the desert, you would say a mile away. But we're talking about the tropics. So you can definitely see the old vintage dresses from far, far away. So we, or I, got very lucky in finding this and being able to, to afford it. And believe me, it was there for a few months. And it took me that long to save up the money and buy the dress. This came from a vintage 1960 dress. And this is the direct results of getting that material or getting that uh, vintage clothing and making it into little clothes for Skipper and just recently started with Barbie. And the last dress that I have here for our little um, fashion show is this dress on Skipper. And you can see how the color has changed from pink to pink and yellow and now yellow and white. So the flowers, as I mentioned, they blow up from tiny, tiny, and they blow up to a large scale dress. And let me see if I can show you here to the side, the fabric and how it's growing from one very tiny to another. So there's the skirt and I'm holding um, the camera with one hand so I won't be able to do much other than twirl her, twirl her carefully. And here's the other side. So we're looking at the fabric which was best suited for this dress. There was another one made which was already sold and the exact dress was made in the pink scale uh, part of the fabric. So we're gonna take one more look. Minute. And I'm gonna And here are the girls. So I'm gonna put them over to the side as you can see here, and I'm gonna bring Barbie back, and you're gonna be able to see how the fabric goes from pink, pink, to pink and red, to pink, uh, to white and yellow. And there is definitely yellow, but I'm not bringing it because it, it's a very large scale, P probably for my larger dolls. So here's the look of all the girls in the fashion show. We're doing our final, oops, I'm sorry about that. We're doing our final run, uh, one look of the designs. And in the descriptions, I'm going to put the direct link to each item. The, the dresses here are all on Kofi. And I'm going to have to see if there's anything on Mercari. I did take them out once I found out that I was had, having trouble. If one sold on Kofi, I had to take it out because it's a one-of-a-kind. So starting starting about a, a month ago, I started only placing one-of-a-kind items. And you can see why these are one-of-a-kind. They're not going to be the same twice. And since it's vintage, I cannot get the fabric anymore. We're talking about something from the 1960s. And if I do uh, get lucky to find the same dress, it's not going to be in the same condition. This one it was uh, very lucky in getting it in small doll scale and in pristine, clean, and bold, bright, bold colors. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you like this video and of our girls' Hawaiian flower par power dresses. And the dresses do come with purses. In the pictures in the link description, you'll be able to see the purses. And you will be getting the exact dress and the exact items that you see listed. So with this, I'm going to say goodbye. And we will do another fashion review for other one-of-a-kind items and handmade dresses or pants sets made for our dolls. 
Have a great one, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.